Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this week ahead a message from Taro and Lenormand. Let's see what Taro is saying for Aries. Um, by the way, I am using um, the Modern um, Witch um, Taro. Really got a good connection with this um, Taro deck, so I'm using that one. And I'm using um, the Mirror True that is the Lendermans. Again, I got a good connection with them. So let's start with Aries. Okay, so three cards for Aries. So I got I got judgment, I got that, and I got the high priestess. That's the three cards that came out um, for Aries. Um so what I you know in my intuition in here is basically you feel like you're judging yourself for something bad that really really happened and um The feeling I have, my intuition is saying for you to really look inside of you and try to look in another angle of the situation. And sometimes, most of the time, uh, we, we judge something only from the appearances. And in this situation in here, it's really feeling that you're judging yourself for something really bad that happened. But the cards are saying, they are telling me, for you to look in, you know to look inside of you and how do i know that because of the high priestess you know she does hold the secret and that's the feeling i have in here that you hold the secret or someone close to you does hold the secret okay so the judgment in here is you judging yourself for something that ended something bad that happened and it just look inside of yourself or someone closer to you does have the knowledge that you know you need to get this you know burden out of your you know shoulders let's say what Lenormand is going to say so um for the Lenormand card that came for Aries this week it actually came um the ship the ship means um things moving fast things moving um, rapidly. Also, it does mean that it might be a little trip coming your way or might, you might have to go somewhere and or, but basically it's things moving fast. So you might need to go away for a little bit or this situation that you are into, it will change, you know, suddenly. Okay, that was for Aries. Let's see um, for Taurus now. What is the message for Taurus for the week starting on um, 22nd of March? So I do have the Two of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Six of Cups. That is the three cards that came out for Ari. Um, the feeling I have um, that it, it is actually or engagement. You know, you get engaged, um, but for something, you know, for someone that you fought a lot and someone that was you know from your childhood or reminds you of your childhood also can be a contract this card also can be um does mean a contract uh for something that you fought a lot and you were um quite tired of you know be fighting for it and it probably is something that it was you know from your childhood so Let's see what Lenormand is saying for um, Taurus for, um, for the next week, for the week is starting um, um, tomorrow, that is 22nd. It came out um, the house. Um, the house, um, the house of mean is stability. The house means comfortable things. And also means that whatever is happening, um, on, on the cards from Tarot, it means that is close um, to you. Is is basically it also means that it can be um, engagement. You know, engagement that what is really is coming out here in in the house card. 
Okay, let's see um, for Gemini what Tarot is saying for Gemini for next week. That is starting on the week, uh, on the day 22nd of March. Okay, so I got um, Ten of Swords. I do have Seven of Pentacles and I do have Four of um, Cups. Um, so the feeling here that I have is that you really did reach a uh, bottom, you know, the bottom of whatever, you know, you were doing. In, and you're feeling tired, you're feeling really exhausted with all this situation. And the Seven of Pentacles is actually you asking yourself, what else? What else is there for me? You're not happy. You really completely not happy. Even with the Four of Cups, but the Four of Cups is actually showing me um, a little bit. Every time when this card comes around, it actually show me a little bit of um, someone that is a bit ungrateful because it is um, even, yes, the situation can be very um, tough at the moment. You're not happy with everything that is is happening and it, this is a work this is basically you overwhelmed with everything that you really done with and you're not happy at work you're just feeling um you're asking yourself what else but this card is actually um showing you that yeah it's three cups empty but it's someone in here offering you a full cup and you're not seeing it you know you're not saying you basically you are so um concentrated on the three empty cups that you're not seeing someone showing you giving you a full cup okay so just look around and try to analyze all the situations you know for um for the all you know all the perspective you know not only one maybe you just being a little bit selfish you know you're just seeing yourself of the you know of you know the story you just seeing not the whole picture and that's what the card are saying you know for you to look at the whole picture okay so let's see what Lenormand is gonna say for Gemini okay yeah it came the sight um, when this card comes around, is basically it is is a straightforward card. Cut the bullshit, you know. Let's be realistic and really see what is important. Okay, it might be the situation that you win at the moment is not. It might not be the best, but narrow down. You know, cut. Do a pros, you know, and cons, and see what is what is really holding you back and why can you not see what the universe is giving what is that full cup that the universe is giving for you okay um let's see um cancer now what taro is saying for cancer got three cards already no? okay um for um Cancer, I do have a Knight of Cups. Came out a Knight of Cups. And the, the second card was um, the Two of Wands. And the third card was um, the Knight of Cups. So what do I feel in here? I see that you're moving. You're moving, but you're not decided yet, you know, in where to go and what to do. You have two options, and what I feel as well, I feel like um, a male energy. Um, there's a lot of feelings in here as well, I, I can, you know, feel. But this male energy might be holding you back, you know, it might be the reason that you're so undecided um, to do what you want to do. This. You're choosing, you're looking, you want to do so, you want to do something, but it feels like this energy, you know, the male energy here um, is holding you back a little bit. And you both want different things. These two cards, you're looking 
away from each other so you're basically looking uh, might be um, you know um, two different things in there and you not sure what to do might be it, it doesn't seem to be work related it might be um, it just feel like a relationship related and there's a lot of feelings in here and that is the situation that is holding you back on what to do okay that's the feeling I have okay so let's see let's see what Lenormand says for cancer you know it came out the birds um, the birds is um, gossip, so um, gossips and news, so whatever is happening with the Tavro, um, you know, it might be some news coming very soon and maybe those news might be help, you know, might be helping you to choose what you, you know, what you need to do and to go forward. Um, but the situation is a relationship that is holding you back. With the news that will come from Lenormand, that might help you to move forward, okay? Let's go for um, Leo. The message um, for Leo for next week. Week starting on 22nd of March. Go for Leo is um, Four of Pentacles. I got the Chariot and I got the Moon. So these cards in here is just telling me, it's my intuition saying that you were um, achieve a position, that you were there for quite some time, you were holding to that position, but now you chose to let go of the position, you know, to pursue a dream. Um, I don't know, it doesn't say what dream, but it really show me that card shows me that you really want to go for it and that was a dream that you were you are pursuing now yeah good luck that was a good message good message oh if you want to pursue your dream that is is the right time for it so what Lenormand's gonna say so the and um, the message for leo is actually um the ring and the ring is can be two things can be um a commitment um you probably be, you know that situation that you were stuck and it might be you might get engaged or something also um it also can mean that the situation was going around 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 and now with the chariot that came out is that you really decide to go for it that was a dream okay as a dream that you want to pursue yeah good luck okay so let's see what taro is going to say um um for virgo for next week the week starts on the 22nd of march okay a good card so i got 10 of pentacles i love this card and I got a page of pentacles and I got 10 of cups, you know, really good cards um, for Virgo this week. 10 of pentacles is a completion, you know, you completed something and you, you're really happy. And it's all levels in here, it's a lot of money and it's, it's basically abundance, abundance in all levels. Oh, um, the page of pentacles is showing me a new project that you're going for and you're really happy about this project and it's showing me a lot of feelings in here that you is a project that you really wanted also showing me here that you're really happy in in at, you know in your levels those two cards ten of pentacles and ten of cups together they're really good cards is mean that you really happy at your work at your finances and at the end of cups you know uh, relationship wise you're really happy and with the page of pentacles uh, some a new project a young project coming around and i hope is everything good okay so let's see what um Lenormand is going to say, um, the Lenormand is actually giving you the book. The book is knowledge. 
okay so whatever is happening with the tarot with knowledge you will get there probably is about that project that you want to restart and the book from Lenormand is just saying with knowledge you will get there okay so let's go um for Libra for um what is the message for Libra for the week is starting tomorrow 22nd of March Okay. okay that is for libra i got um six of wands seven of pentacles and four of cups that is for libra so um the feeling here that i have is you letting you basically leaving a situation that was really um troubling you troubling your mind you know swords is always to do with your minds and that was really getting um, too, it was taking too much of you. So you just going, you're just leaving them. Also is um, saying that you're not really happy in your finances. You're looking uh, with the seven pentacles, what else? And you're not really happy. Again, I got the four of cups in here you're not seeing the whole situation you're only looking at the empty cups you're not seeing what the universe is um, supposed to you know is giving you um maybe look what you already achieved and from that angle you can go and move forward okay it, it feels like you have achieved so much and you're getting away you're going away from a really um difficult situation and just see what the universe is is giving you look around okay let's see what lenormand is going to say okay let's see and um, i got this snake okay so the snake is basically um is a um, how can i say it's a caution card you know just have a look um just be careful with the people around you in your next seven days um the snake is some you know might be a vicious situation or can be um someone vicious around you or someone you know a little bit jealous around you so just be careful you know just keep your eyes open take your protection spells put them up and put your crystals you know put them all up because the snake is not a good thing okay so let's go um scorpio okay let's see what the cards will say for scorpio next week okay okay but three cards already so i got six of pentacles the queen of wands and the hermit that is the cards that came out um for scorpio um in here i just feel like you really want to give something and it's actually a mother figure that i'm seeing here a mother figure that is trying to help someone someone within the family but but someone lonely at the same time when the hermit you know card comes around is a someone that helps a lot of people but then also it is feeling alone or it is alone it might be someone that lives alone but then it's someone that really help people around the community and but it is someone that have their own light and do not ask for help okay that is might be a mother figure or someone really really independent that is is really you know is okay I don't see i don't see any uh, i don't feel any negative thing in here just someone that really prefers to be um you know alone might be for a little while and someone a little bit a mother figure and is someone that helps you know a lot of people okay so let's see what lenormand is going to say okay Um, it came out the lily so the lily is just to confirm um, that is a mature person 
in the you know in the tarot reading it is someone that wants to be you know wants to be alone but is their own choice it's not a bad thing she just prefers to be alone and it's someone that is really help people around okay that was for scorpio let's see sagittarius for next week let's see let's see what I really get a three cards okay okay three cards for sagittarius for the week is starting uh on the 22nd of march okay so i got the knight of swords i got six of wands and I got the hangman. Okay. The hangman. Um, the feeling is is here that things are moving fast. And you did achieve something. And you know, it was a small celebration, but you did achieve something. Um that was completely out of your of your com you know comfort zone. And now is mm, you feeling you're not feeling yourself with the hangman, but then every time when the hangman appears, you know, I always say just try to look at things in a different perspective. You know, the hangman is always um is is not bad. If you do, you know, take a closer look, the you know, is not unhappy, you know, it's not unhappy card. You know, it's really not unhappy card. And also, I do feel like this um, card is is a enlight, you know, enlightened card because it does give you a chance to see, you know, what it might be bad happening now or that situation that really took you from your comfort zone is something good. That is something that it might, you know, it will make you grow. But, you know, the feeling I have in here was a situation that it was, it happened really, really fast. And now you're feeling, oh, you know, it, you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling like hand, you know, what to do, you know, like you're feeling, yeah. But just look at the things in a different perspective, okay? It was a victory. Remember that. It was a victory, okay? So let's see what Lenormand is going to say for um, Sagittarius. Um, um for next week it came out the mountain so it is a victory even though it was a small victory it was a victory and the feeling that you you have right now it might take a little bit longer to go but it's normal just you know just work with it you know with this feeling and try to grow from it okay so let's go for capricorn so let's see what the tarot is going to say for um, Capricorn for the week that is starting on the 22nd of March. So um, let's see. I do have um, the High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So that is the three cards I got. And um, I do have um, for Capricorn. So um, I do feel we here that um, with the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles, I do see someone that is really secure and it does have a lot of knowledge and is really, is really um, happy um, financially and spiritually. And I do have, um, uh, with the Knight of Cups, it's just, is, is a male energy coming around okay so you seem really really happy so someone is coming around okay that was with the nine of cups and is someone that he really wants a, a relationship and it's coming smoothly so it might be someone that you already know but it's someone that is already in the picture okay and so let's see what Lenormand is going to say um I do have the bear, okay. So the bear might be um, someone at work, you know, that is, I just mentioned, like the Nine of Cups um, coming around. It might be someone at work, a someone that is someone of authority, okay, that is, 
it might be um, someone that is higher um, in, a, in a job or someone that might be a teacher as well, okay? Might be a teacher. Or what I do have a feel when the bear comes around, it is someone, you know, of authority that is coming in your life. And it's coming smoothly, okay? Just be careful there. Um, so let's see what are the cards for Aquarius for next week. What Tarot is going to say for Aquarius. That is for the week is starting on um, 22nd of March, okay? So I already have three cards. So I do have the Five of Cups. I do have the Star. And I do have the Two of Pentacles for Aquarius. Okay, with the Five of Cups, um, you're, leaving, um, you're leaving from a situation. Um, probably you're leaving work. And... Or you're leaving your relationship, one of the two. But those two um, situations, it really um, bothered you somehow. You felt like... Um, this card is actually the feeling I have when I do have um, drawn this card. Is what you thought it was enough for you is not anymore. So you're leaving there. And um, you're leaving... And, you you know, it, the star is coming around, so the star is blessing you. It's, it's a really good card. I love this star. But also, uh, I do have the two of pentacles um, coming around. It might, you might be jangling things around. You might be indecided. And with the star, you know, the star might give you some guidance, you know. That is the feeling I have in here, so... Um, if you do, the, the only advice I have in here for you, if you do want to leave, just leave. Uh, but just don't be on that situation that you'll be, you know, indecisive and you want to basically accommodate everything around the situation. That is not the situation in here. There'll be too much for you. You know, that it would, that would clash eventually. Yeah. That is the feeling I have in here. So just choose the path. You know, that's what the star is there, you know, just choose what it is and don't juggle things around, okay? And so let's see what Lenormand is going to say. Um, I do have the dog. That is one of my favorite cards in the Lenormand um, deck. And is, um, is a friendly person, you know, that is around you. On, on the tarot that it might be give you the right advice. So just ask this loyal friend and, and see what they have to say, okay? And stop trying to carry the word. You don't need that. You know, it's going to be too much in the end. Okay? So let's see the cards for um, Pisces. You know, Pisces. Um, that is for the week. It starts on the twenty. Um, 2nd of March, so what the tarot is going to say, okay, let me just, let me just shut up this really, really well, let's get, okay, okay, let's, that's the last, okay, three cards, okay, so I got the King of Wands, I do have the King of Pentacles and I got the Justice. Okay, so I have um, two male energies around you. And then, uh, yes, I do have two male energy around you. And one is really fire, is one is, is, is a passion, really, really strong that is coming around. And the other one is coming to offer you instability. It's coming you to really give everything that you want in life. Although uh, with the justice card um, coming around, you you will have to choose, okay? And what you're going to choose, is it going to be about love, is what really inspire you, or is it about instability? That is the choice in here, and you will have the justice card in there, 
that is a really powerful card as well also it can be in here and a situation that it might be a job that you're really passionate about it and then um, about a job that gives you stability and the justice is coming you know is there for you you know so you do need to balance and see which one is best for you okay thank you very much and i hope to see you around